for the fourth today we review it is Big Trouble in Little China for Source Fed Movie Club. It is directed by John Carpenter, this movie. And at the very end, definitely does get me. I'll include it at the end of this video. The movie features Kurt Russell and Kim Cattrall. It also has Dennis Dunn as Wang Chi, James Hong as David Lopin, and Victor Wong as Eggshen. The movie was released in 1986. It is rated PG-13 and it is an adventure action comedy. This movie is about the rescue of Gracie Law and Mei Yin. Mei Yin is the fiance of Wang Chi and Gracie Law is a lawyer who is the love interest in this film of Kurt Russell's character Jack Burton. The main kidnapper was David Lopin who has been cursed. Now he needs to find a woman with green eyes that way he is able to repay his debt he then does have to sacrifice her though to repay a debt to the first emperor. Forty minutes in you get to see uh, Lopin in his real form. He is just uh, an old decrepit man, barely has any hair, yeah, sitting in a wheelchair, wheeled out. We came here to see David Lopin, alright? Ah! David <laughs> Lopin! And you have succeeded, Mr. Burton. What, you? Uh, I don't get this at all. I thought Lopin... Shut up, Mr. Burton! You have not brought upon this world to get it. Come on, Lopin is like nothing. You so now you're kind of thinking of this old guy with these uh, nice, lovely women that he keeps wanting to get married to. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of gross. The story is pretty generic of an action movie. There's a damsel in distress. This movie does exceed in the fact that it surrounds that uh, basic plot of damsel in distress with very interesting characters. There's the three storms, thunder, lightning, and rain. There's also uh, Egg Shen, who is uh, like David Lopin expert. During one of the fight scenes, David Lopin and Egg Shen are in combat, and there's uh, like energy beams, kind of like Harry Potter, Lord Voldemort, and you can see a samurai duel. I'm not sure perhaps if that's the two of them in the past. Egg Shen also says that he is from the pen's past, come back to haunt him. Hey, where are you going, Egg? Oh, well, my work's done. Lopin is dead and the evil spell's been lifted. Years ago, I promised myself a long vacation. It's time to collect. And that is why I think Egg Shen was like Lopin, uh, kind of immortal, not an evil immortal. But Egg Shan seemed to have been following Lopin for ages, and uh, now that Lopin's gone, he can take a vacation. But at the beginning of the movie, we start with uh, Egg Shan being questioned. So apparently, that vacation did not begin, or has not yet begun. The movies from 1986, some of the practical effects, such as the creature that grabs Gracie Law and uh, attacks Kurt Russell's character, Jack Curtin. It looks a little dated as well as the Guardian. It looked okay until he, uh, Wang stabbed it and then it looked terrible with the face. I don't know what happened but the quality of it went down. Thunder, also the practical effects on Thunder when he explodes, looks rather dated. However, the CGI effects like when Egg Chen shows the lightning at the beginning and uh, the character lightning, one of the storms, it looks uh, very good. The fight scenes are a little uh, over the top, but it is an 80's action movie, so that's to be expected. I think 7 out of 10, it does hold up. Not as great as like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, um, but it does hold up. So they escape the trading company, and they get onto Egg Shen's tour bus that's waiting in the parking lot. And then the guards from that uh, building come out, with, and they shoot the bus ridiculously, just through the windows, through the sides. And everyone's ducked down to hide, I understand, but I still don't get how no one was injured in that. And just a little continuity issue, right after the shootout, Egg Shen pulls out of the parking lot, and you can see the sun reflect on the side of the bus where all the shots were. The windows were blown out, but the sun reflects right off of the windows. So. Uh, the best part of the whole movie, though, is when they crash the wedding, Jack goes, aha, and then shoots above his head a couple times, like they usually do, but he shoots out plaster and then hits himself on the frickin' head. And he's knocked out for like a good half the fight. When the lightning's crashing and the thunder's rolling and the rain's coming down and sheets thick as lead. 
Just remember what old Jack Burton does when the earth quakes and the poison arrows fall from the sky and the pillars of heaven shake. Yeah, Jack Burton just looks that big old storm right square in the eye and he says, give me your best shot, pal. I can take it. Thank you for watching this Today We Review for SourceFed Movie Club. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you do want to, you can reach out on Twitter using hashtag TodayWeReview. Tweet at me, MadLFan.